there is a tool out there that is gonna help you to set up your ports. Okay, and this will scan my network and then tell me what's wrong with it? Is that well, it? <laughs> not necessarily what's wrong, but it will at least let you know exactly what's open and what's not. Okay, that's good uh, Because know. the worst case scenario is not that you open up a port to a device. The worst case scenario is you have a port open that you don't know is open. Right, okay. Right. So this, I mean, at the very least, this should provoke your curiosity. Let's say, yeah. hey, why is that open? You know, Google should the port, open? see if it, see if that's open by default, and see if there's a way to shut it down if you don't need it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So the program I'm going to use, we've actually used here on Know How before, is called Nmap. It is a free program. You have it for Windows, for Linux, for OS X. So you pick your 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 poison. Mm -hmm. They've come out with a really cool graphical version. Yeah. I'm kind of old school. I like command line. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it's command line's faster and it's smaller. It's you know it it comes inside my toolkit. It's on my USB drive at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just I just kind of like the feeling of typing. It well, you feel, look cooler with I, the command line. Look too, like a you hacker, know? man. Yeah, yeah, especially when someone's looking over. Like, oh, that guy. He's hacking over there. I He's can tell. hacking so hard. Especially if it's green text on a black <laughs> background. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going back to this computer. Now remember, this computer is outside the network. Okay. So this right. one is the one that's on the WAN port of my of my router. Right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I know my my uh, router address is 10.135.25.165. This particular one is is looking at the uh, at the webcam, but I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to direct to that port. I'm going to go ahead and open up a command shell as an administrator. So I'm going to right click this run as administrator. Yes, please run the program. All right, uh, Alex, mm -hmm. you're going to have to get in on this. Get in there. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to change directory down to nmap. Super simple program. In fact, if you type nmap. What's going to happen is it will just give you all the different commands that you can run. Oh, okay. But I'm going to be super, super simple here. All I'm going to do is put nmap 10.135.25.165. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what will, what's going to happen is it's going to run its port scan against the WAN port of my router. Right. Okay. So when I do that, it's going to do its little thing. So all it's doing is it's probing those 65,535 possible ports, and it's seeing what services are running, what's listening, hmm. uh, and then it should give me a report as to exactly what it heard. Yeah, it's it's oh, going to tell okay. me, these are the ports that are open, these are the services that are started, this is what's going on. Now, you can run larger scans. So I can run scans over an entire range. I can ask for an entire subnet. But hmm. in this particular case, what it's done is it's come back and said, oh, look, Port 999 and port 1000 are open, which is exactly what I want <laughs> because those are the two ports that I open, right? Right, and no other ones that you didn't know about. Precisely, and so uh, actually if you go back to my other computer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable those rules. So I've just turned off the port forwarding that I just established. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm going to rerun the, the Nmap scan if you come back to the other computer. Uh, we have to push in there, there we Zoom. go. So if, if this is working, it should report back that there are no ports open, which is what I want. Uh, this, is, this is one of these basic tests that it seems stupid, mm -hmm. but with poorly made routers, sometimes you'll just see mystery ports that are open. Like it, and you'll find out that, it, oh, the remote uh, interface is on by default. Okay. Or you'll find out that, oh, it passes port 10,000 for some reason. So if you do there find we go. That's exactly what I want. So no host ports. is up. All 1,000 scan ports on 10.135.25.165 are filtered. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Okay. Well, say say that you do find a mystery port. How do you how do you diagnose? I guess you just search that port, on, like Google it, and figure right. out what service that might be. Figure out what service it is. If it, if it doesn't come back, to, then you go through uh, uh, in like in my screen here. You would go through your port, whatever router you have, uh -huh. your port forwarding, and see if something's set up there. If something's not set up, Alex, actually, if you come back, go through settings like internet and find out if it has something like a uh, where is that um, like smart WAN. Hmm where it's doing some weird binding. Uh, look at remote access, make sure remote access is turned off. Uh, and if, if you absolutely cannot positively shut down a port, it might be time to replace that router. Because that might mean that it was owned? It could mean that it's owned because it means that the port, it means your, think about what it means. It means your, your, your router is quite possibly running a service that you don't know about. That's right. super bad news. Okay. By, which, by the way, if you scan most, like, the default cable modem router or, or a DSL router modem that you get from your ISP, yeah. a lot of them have ports open that you don't, don't trust. Want. Which is why I never trust those things. Okay, so as long as you have that external 
that like internet address that is yep. to your router, you can scan that. Precisely. Precisely. So if I went over to Alex's house hey. and I got his IP address, you can scan his IP and address. then scan his, yeah. his stuff. Now, Alex, if you go back to my computer, I'm not showing you the more um, gray hat aspects of Nmap, but this is an incredibly powerful tool. This, actually, I do want to fix. So it is enumerating and it's finding MAC address. So it found the MAC address of my router, which that's, I ha it has to. There's no way to fix that. It, oh, really? That's, yeah, that's public. But it was able to enumerate my router and figure out that it's Synology. Hmm, because of the MAC address? Uh, no, just because it, it means just that my, my router responded to an OS probe. Oh, okay, and said, hey, I, yeah, I'm Synology. Yeah, I'm Synology, yeah. Is there a way now, to... Now, that's not so bad because yeah. people should see Synology and say, okay, there's not really a, a there's no exploits on right, this. Right, but someone could scan... Someone says, Linksys. Like, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's probably a couple of exploits. Netgear, yeah, definitely, there's a couple of exploits. Yeah. You can turn that off. Um, how? But normally not easily. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. So you'd have to like uh, do like a firmware update or something. Or? You can do a firmware update, and then you just look through your settings to see if there's a way for you to like do not respond to any WAN uh, requests. Okay. Huh. All right. Can you go back to the the router settings real quick? Okay. And then go to security for me. Boop. Uh, where was it? I thought I saw it before. I thought there was like um, probably under firewall. Well, maybe. What, that, what are you looking for specifically? I there were services before that I wasn't sure if I needed. Oh, those are all disabled. Okay. Yeah. Um, but see, this is this is what I like about Synology. These are all disabled by by default. Most right. a lot of the especially the lower end ones, they turn them all on because they don't want to receive any customer service calls. Maybe it wasn't the Synology I had, but the the router I had previously. But it was like filter NAT requests, filter. Um, it was like a, a few security settings that I didn't know exactly what they did, but it was like filter requests from the internet, and I was just curious if that was part of the port scanning probably, stuff. Probably, probably. Okay. Yeah. Anytime that you have the ability to block or not respond to external traffic, yeah. Uh, again, if you don't need it, then turn it off. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Cool. So this is fascinating. Now here's here's the fun part, and okay, don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> what? Don't do this. Don't do this on your home network. Go to a Starbucks and do it there. Um, <laughs> Don't, don't do that. Seriously. Don't do that either. <laughs> uh, this tool is exactly the tool that we used to, to, to use on internet, uh, on interop. So what we could mm -hmm. do is we could just sit there and we would scan the entire class A, which is a crap ton of addresses. Uh -huh. And it would go address by address, port by port, and look at everything that's opened. Um, and you would see so many misconfigured routers that have like all of their ports forwarding to something or have all their port 80 and port 443 forwarding to you know, a server that's not hardened against the internet. Huh. Uh, you can do that, but know that a lot of ISPs will now look at random port scans, and if you're doing it, they'll throttle you or shut you down. Whoa. Because okay. they know that a, an attack is probably being launched from your IP, uh, uh, IP address. I only tell you this so that you don't try this at home and right. suddenly you're not connected <laughs> to the internet anymore. <laughs> ISPs okay. got wise to this, yeah. and they, you know, they kind of made an agreement with each other. Like, I don't want my network attacking yours. I don't want your network attacking mine. I see. So, if you see a single IP address that just starts scanning the internet, do uh -huh. me a favor and shut it down. And that's why you use a VPN, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, theoretically, I don't know any of this. <laughs> so, so that's how ports work. And again, okay. uh, that is an incredibly cool security tool. Don't worry about uh, copying down the address now. We're going to make sure that the links are in our show notes. Yep, yep, yep. It's, it's free. It's something that's very easy to run. Mm -hmm. And it's something that uh, the only command that you need to know is Nmap. So type Nmap and your address and it will tell you whether or not you're secured. You can also use something like Shields Up. We're not showing it here because Shields Up would actually expose our external IP address. Oh, right. But if you don't want to run Nmap because you don't want to go outside and, and hit your own address, yeah. you can just go to uh, Steve Gibson's GRC, Shields Up, mm -hmm. and it will run a port scan against your network. Ah, uh, okay. That's, okay. That's what that yeah, I've heard is. of that. I've heard of Steve talking about that yeah. before. Okay, yeah. cool.